So this is a very short video to talk about infinity curves and what they are and how to use them. And anytime you're working on any kind of looping cycle, you're almost certain to be using infinity curves. So let's have a look at this cycle with Monty walking along here. Just a simple walk cycle. Monty's strolling along and we want to make sure that the cycle is looping successfully um, and that all the bits join up so that there are no bumps and clicks in it particularly at the beginning and the end. And the best way to do this is to turn on infinity curves. So if I click on the main uh, Monty root control there and then go down to the graph editor and select my translate Y, I can see I've got, uh, I've got a control curve here which is showing an up and down motion like this. But um, I might want to make sure that the join here um, is accurate. Let's say, for example, I had a join that looked like uh, looked like this, and that actually wouldn't be a very good connection. But I might not be able to see that very well without the infinity curves turned on. So the first thing I want to do is go ahead and turn on view. Whoops, view infinity. And where's that? There we go. There's view infinity down there. So if I just turn that on, then I turn on my infinity curves, or at least I make them visible anyway. Now I haven't yet and uh, then, then I've got to go to the root control. Well, actually, let's just do it for translate Y. So we'll be forensic about this and select that curve and go curves pre infinity cycle, curves post infinity cycle. And once I've done that, I can see if I hit spacebar now and hit A, I can see that Maya is now going to calculate that curve to infinity post the cycle and to infinity pre the cycle. And if I grab these handles, I can adjust them like this to make sure that my cycle is looping attractively and there won't be any bumps and annoying clicks in it. Um, right, so they can see there's, there's still a little bit of knee popping in there. So still some stuff for me to fix. But, um, but we could do this with all of our curves. For example, the side to side curve here in the X translation I can go ahead and trans go ahead and do translate x and again I've got my infinity curves turned on here already but if I didn't I would just go curves pre infinity cycle curves post infinity cycle and that would turn them on and here actually I need to flatten that and then just adjust that to make sure that that is in fact looping successfully and if I do this if I use my infinity curves then I can much more quickly diagnose if there are problems with the loop and if they're, where the clicks and bumps are on the joins between the start and the end position. So that is what you use infinity curves for in Maya. They're really, really useful, uh, and particularly when you're animating a, a cycle animation of any kind.